Uh, if a medical emergency takes place, please still call 911 on a cell phone. Uh, most likely there's going to be a cell phone around somewhere. You've got one or a friend or uh, just a stranger close by. Make that call. If there is a medical emergency, we'll have uh, probably an EMS golf cart en route. So if you see that coming, please just uh, move out of the way so uh, that cart can get to where it needs to go to give uh, uh, medical attention. Yeah, just be safe as you celebrate uh, uh, the 4th of July with fireworks. Um, definitely have an adult there if you've got kids watching everything that goes on with your own personal display. Uh, in partnership with uh, St. Vincent Carmel Hospital, be able to get a donation to uh, get a new safety house, so we're very, very thankful for that. And what we utilize this for is we go to different schools, different public events, and we're able to show kids and families uh, different rooms in the house to be able to pick out uh, fire and safety hazards. And uh, it's a very effective tool in doing that and uh, allowing kids and families to get a, a good handle on what to look for in their own home. So again, this is gonna be dedicated on uh, July the 3rd on Sunday here at our fire headquarters right uh, near the uh, Carmel Fest uh, activities across from the fountain. So come out and meet us uh, and uh, join us at that time at 2 p.m., 2 p.m. on the 3rd. Uh, just small kids, elementary age school, school kids, um, if they can go home and just tell mom and dad um, what they learned and their message basically is to get out, stay out. Their job when there's a fire, get themselves out, get them to safety and do not go back in for, for anything that they, they may want to get, toys or, or pets or things like that. So uh, other things for the parents is just to uh, take care of their smoke detectors. Uh, we encourage parents to check their smoke detector once a month. Just make sure that uh, it, it works. You can test that by the button on the, the outside of the unit. And then uh, at least once uh, a year, change that battery. It's good to get in the habit of changing it every time you change your clock. That'd be two times a year. But at least once a year, if you can change that battery out and make sure that you have a good operating battery, that's great. And also for parents, practice uh, an escape plan and a safe meeting place in case there's fire. Carmel Fest, of course, the fire trucks. <laughs>